In this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how you can make $100 per day using Google. Hello, my name is Austin Godbolt, and I create videos to help you escape the cubicle prison. Like, subscribe, and ring the bell notification if you are looking for different ways to escape the cubicle prison and start living the life that you deserve. And before I forget, if you want to know my number one recommended way to escape the cubicle prison, click the first link in the description or go to alstongodbolt.com forward slash start. All right, so as I mentioned, we are going to look at a different way to make $100 per day using Google. So this method that I'm going to use is a little under the radar. Not a lot of people know about it. Not a lot of people talk about it, but it's a good opportunity to make revenue, uh, make $100 per day if you know how to use it correctly. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump into my computer. We are going to take a look at how to use this site uh, and start making $100 per day. All right, so the site that we're going to use is actually called Google Trends. Now, if you know anything about Google or Google Trends, it is a website that tells you trending topics over a given period of time. It is a good option to see what's going on in the past and in the recent future. What we're actually gonna do is we're gonna take a look and see what's trending right now and, and take advantage of that wave and create content basically and recommend products or services that are affiliated with the content to make passive income with affiliate marketing. So right now I am at trends.google.com. What we're going to do is we're going to search and find topics that are trending, that are hot, that are popular this moment, and we're going to take advantage of that wave by creating content, referring customers to a product or service, and then we're going to make $100 per day. So this is going to be 100% live. I haven't done this beforehand, and we're just going to, I'm gonna show you how I did it. And I actually took advantage of this method when I created a video a few months ago called uh, Amazon tiny houses and make money online. Um, I had read an article early that morning about how Amazon was going to start selling tiny homes. And so what I did was I actually went and created a YouTube video about how people could start making money online by, by uh, creating content around tiny homes. Now that, that, video was my most viewed video at that time. Uh, since then, I've had a number of videos suppress that, but I was a relatively small channel at that time, and so it was a pretty hot topic for me, and so uh, I know that this works. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go up to the hamburger menu, it's the, it's the three bars or the three lines at the top left-hand corner, and we're going to click the menu button. We're gonna go down to uh, trending searches, and then we are going to see right here, you can see we have real-time trends, and this is going to tell us what's going on, what's popular at this moment. Now, the reason why this is a good opportunity is because uh, people are actively searching this content. And because people are actively searching this content, um, your results can show up in the search engine, it can show up in, in YouTube pretty quickly. So YouTube actually favors recent content because they feel like recent content's more, more relevant. So if you can find a topic here and find a, an associate product that you can recommend, you can actually make pretty good money. So what I would do is I would head on over to Google Trends and then go to the trending searches, find real-time searches, create a piece of content on YouTube, and then just send it out via uh, your social media platforms. Uh, because again, be, because it's recent, it's relevant, it's topical, people are going to be drawn to that information or drawn to your YouTube and you can start making money that way. So I just wanna scroll quickly through and find something that we could create content on and po possibly start making some money. So if I scroll through, um, soccer is, it looks like it's pretty important. Um, NBC, so you could do something topical on, on politics, US politics. Um, I saw up here, tornado warning there's also one with earthquake in in puerto rico quite honestly you could actually make content on um survival kits for earthquake uh earthquake preparedness um you would just trend it like or you would just you would just title it um how to pre how to be prepared for the next earthquake and then recommend a number of different um like generators different stuff that you would include in a survival kit and then just add links to your youtube channel now uh, that may seem like a little, uh, not necessarily sketchy, but you're helping someone, you're providing a, a service of value, you're helping them uh, get prepared. So, so don't feel uncomfortable if you want to make some sort of content like that. But if we just keep scrolling, um, you could do MBA and Zion Williamson. Uh, you could p potentially do like a, a highlight reel and then recommend people to the MBA store because I know that the MBA store has an affiliate program. I believe their affiliate program is like 6%. And so you basically, you'd have to make maybe four or five sales in order to do that. In reality, sports is a very good opportunity to make money 
because with basketball, it's happening every day. And so it gives you a different topic to cover every single day. You can essentially become like the ESPN of, of YouTube. But if we keep scrolling down, boxing, I think there's a, a fight coming up. Um, if we think about what's going on in current events, um, let's see, today, let's see, uh, tomorrow is the NFL. Um, tomorrow's, tomorrow's the NFL playoffs, so you could create content around the NFL playoffs. But basically, you just want to scroll through here, find something that catches your eye. University of Pennsylvania, maybe what what type of stuff do college kids need or actually Ivy League kids need and create content around that. There's a lot of opportunity here, believe it or not, because people are actively searching this information. This is real time data. Um, you could use daily search trends, but uh, this stuff is usually less popular as the day wears on. But here's the other thing that that the other reason why this works. Right now, it's trending. Let's see. Um, let's say. Let's say earthquake. We're going to use earthquake. Earthquake is trending. It's seven thirteen p.m. on Friday. Uh, we're still two hours ahead of of LA. You could create content now, and people are just getting off of work or they're getting home, and they still have an opportunity to say, see the this content that you could create. So by the time it's six, seven, eight o'clock, you could have your content pushed out there to various social media platforms after you put it on, on YouTube with your affiliate products in the description. So again, step-by-step, step, go to trends.google.com, go to the real-time search trends, find something that's topical, something that can be monetized with affiliate marketing, create a piece of content, uh, I would say probably a YouTube video talking about it. You could also do, um, you could you could do like um, Instagram or Twitter or social media, uh, but the YouTube uh, YouTube video is going to have a little bit longer shelf life, staying power, and then send out the the video that you create to your social media networks. So let's quickly. I want to find something that's other. I want to find one other thing that we could use. Uh, let's see. Keep scrolling. Keep scrolling. So it looks like basketball is pretty popular. Snapchat, Twitter. Um, I, let's, I guess Tennessee Titans. See, the, the football here is only going to increase over the next 24 to 48 hours. So again, you could you could uh, be an affiliate for NFLshop.com. You could be an affiliate for Amazon and recommend different um, uh, tchotchkes, different trinkets, uh, like a, a football helmet that's also a popcorn holder or whatever. Uh, there's just a number of ways that you can do it. Again, San Francisco 49ers. What I would do in this situation is I would just create content around the game, the expectation, talk about maybe the betting line, all of that stuff, put it in a YouTube video and send it out to the masses and let them find you. Uh, this works. I know it works because I've done it before. Ford Mustang could be a good opportunity. So one thing that I'm noticing is weather is popping up multiple times. And so what I would do is I would just go, go over to amazon.com amazon.com or another big box store if you don't like amazon if amazon doesn't pay high enough commissions go to amazon.com and we could just type in generator all right so we got generate we we found some generators and basically what you'd want to do is you can just recommend a different generator so these generators come in different sizes um, let's assume that this 499 generator pays a four percent commission so we would take 499 uh, 99 times 10 percent so that pays 49 49 dollar uh, $49 commission basically what you'd have to do is you'd have to sell two of these and you'd make the hundred dollars per day if you opt to go with a, a cheaper or less expensive uh, generator you obviously would need to sell more so with the 79 one we'll just get out of there the 79 one 79 times uh, four percent that's three dollars and sixteen cents 100 divided by Three. Excuse me, you'd have to sell 33 of them. Um, so really, that's basically what it comes down to. Again, if we take 499 times 4%, oops, 499 times 4%, that's 199, that's 1996. You take 100 divided by 1996, divided by 19, we'll say 20, that's five. You have to sell five of them. Uh, which is doable if people are either fearful of the next major weather event. Quite honestly, today uh, we here in Wisconsin, we have a major, our first major snowstorm coming in. And so people are going to be looking at snow blowers. They're going to be looking at shovels and um, salt and all that stuff that goes with, with, um, 
with winter weather. And so you could create content about that, the best snowblower uh, that you could buy today. It, that would actually be a great opportunity. So maybe do a little bit of research, go to like uh, Lowe's.com or um, Sears.com if they have Sears in your area or Home Depot and find find snowblowers and tell people, hey, look, this is the best snowblower that you could uh, purchase for this price. And it has a 36 inch, um, it's 36 inches in size. It'll help you clean up your yard in 10 minutes. And so that's actually a good opportunity. Be conscious of what's going on politically, uh, weather-wise, because weather is always a, a good money maker because it's, it's a fear type of thing. People are afraid that they're gonna be snowed in. They're not gonna have power, things of that nature. Uh, or, or sports is another good opportunity as well. Um, so that's what I would do. One more recap. Go to go, go to trends.google.com, look at real-time trends, find something that is of interest to you and that you can find uh, an affiliate product for. Head on to head on over to Amazon or, or something uh, that has an affiliate program, find an associated product or service, create a YouTube video, put your affiliate link in the description, and then send out the completed YouTube video to your social media channels. Step by step, that's how you do it. Again, if you wanna know my number one recommended way to escape the cubicle prison, click the first link in the description or go to alstongodbolt.com forward slash start. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Before I forget, I do want to inform you that some of the links that you will see in your description are affiliate links and I do and can receive a commission if you click on those links and purchase a product.